welcome to Waypoint Survival. Today, I want to show you how to make some real hobo cookware using just an aluminum can. Stay tuned. Now, before we get started, I do realize that inside these cans, there's a plastic liner. Now, normally, as with the tin cans that we use from food, I recommend burning out the liner. However, this is a hobo cooking method, and this is what they do. And for an occasional use, it's not going to hurt you to do it a little bit. So I would not make this my full-time cookware. Uh, of course, there are better options. But I think this is a good tool to know, just in case you get caught out and the only thing you can find are something like this, discarded cans. Let's get to it. So any can will work. Uh, this is just a discarded can that I found along the side of the road. It's empty, and you do want to probably rinse this out before you do this. What you want to do is you want to locate where the top hole is, and that needs to stay up. So turning it around so I can keep this hole to the top side, like this, I want to take the tip of your knife and very carefully puncture this and just slit it from this bend to this one. You don't have to go any farther and we want the rigidity of the ends. The next thing we do is we take the knife and we turn it a little and we slit it down this side. Of course always be careful to keep the blade away from you. Down this way and we want to go down oh just a little bit of the way down until it's about halfway where the hole is. So about halfway down the side. And we're going to do that on both ends. Being careful, of course, not to damage the can too much. Take it to the same dimensions on each side. Then we want to do the same to the other side of the can. And again, just cutting it down. And a sharp knife will do this quite well. And uh, it won't hurt your knife because aluminum is so soft. And now for the, the back side here, come on down and about the same length. Okay, so this is what we have. It looks like this. Now you can open this up even further if you wish. Uh, once you get this going, you can tear this. This actually tears pretty easy, but we don't want to take it too far. And then we want to bend these flaps outward, just like this and like this. Okay, so this is what we have. The next thing we want to do is we want to locate a spot in the bottom of the can directly across from the drink hole. And once we find that, we take the knife and then we puncture this. And then you want to open that up a little bit so that the hole becomes larger. So just like that, you can take the knife and kind of twist it and it will open it up quite well using the point. So we have something that looks like that, and again, it's directly across from the drink hole. Next, we take a stick, and this is a fresh green stick, just a twig. I cut off a tree. I left the Y on one side, and I peeled the bark off because I don't want any of the residue or any of the a bird might land on it, get droppings like that. I don't want that in my food. And leaving this fork on the outside, I'm going to take the large end and I'm going to feed it through this hole, just like this, and through the drink hole side. And we just keep pushing that on and we thread that through all the way until it hits the fork. And that fork is going to keep our uh, can from sliding off into the fire. Next we take an egg and you can fry eggs, bacon, uh, you can even fry chicken legs in an affair like this. And of course we crack it open and then we just put it in the bottom just like this. And of course as you see it will hold it quite well and we put it over the fire. So this is what it looks like. The egg in, the stick, and we've got our good bit of coals and we just Set it down just like this, a nice hot fire, and then if you want, you can get a twig, you can stir it up, you can make scrambled eggs out of it, or whatever you wish. Now, there's one more trick that I want to show you 
with a can that I think is very, very helpful. So while the egg is cooking, I'm going to show you another trick with a can that hobos use. So you don't have to do any modifications to the can except to put your water in it and pull up the tab, just like that. See that tab pulled up? Get another stick, a Y stick, and you can run this in whichever direction you wish. But basically you want to hang the can like this, find you another fork stick for a support, and we're going to put this over the fire, and that is going to boil our water for us. And there we have our hobo cooking set with our frying pan and then our water being boiled in the can. As you can see, it's well done and uh, smells really good. Uh, it did burn a little bit to the bottom, but again, that's to be expected because we didn't use any oil or anything. But it literally only took a couple of minutes to cook to a decent consistency to eat and not burn it. It's just slightly browned as you can see. Let's check it out. Looks pretty good. Cooks quite well. Almost forgot. Mmm. Tastes right good. I want to show you one more thing. If you don't scrape off the bottom of the can, then you don't get into any of the plastic liner. So just literally just eat the egg that's on top and uh, leave the leave the burnt section burnt to the bottom of the pan and that will protect you from getting any of that plastic coating uh, into your mouth and stomach so just another little thing that might help you a little trick water's done as well and of course you could put coffee or hot chocolate or tea or anything in here that you wish and uh, drink out of it but does a really good job and just like you can use a styrofoam cup to boil water in you can boil water in this quite easily and uh, because of the water inside it doesn't scorch the inside of the can and uh, keeps the liner intact as well this is James Bender for Waypoint Survival if you like this video please give it a thumbs up also make sure and check out the links in the description box below and while you're down there, you'll also find our waypointsurvival.com link. And this is where you can sign up to take great survival and bushcraft training classes here at our beautiful facility in southern Ohio. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. We'd really appreciate it. And when you do subscribe, make sure and press that bell button so that you can stay notified of all of our upcoming videos. And we'll talk to you next time.